Hi, this is Dr. Ankita, one of the doctors here. What may I call you? You can call me Sarah. Sarah, may I confirm your age, please? I'm 30. Sarah, I believe you are here as you have certain pain in the leg. Is that right? Are you comfortable now? Uh, well, yeah, thanks for asking, doctor. But uh, I'm still having this pain in my left leg and my left butt. But uh, it's slightly better, tolerable. And do you have any other concerns? Oh, well, yes, my baby hasn't been moving for the past two days and I'm really worried because I was told that uh, baby is as it is growing very small. So uh, we just had a scan and I was wondering what it says. Yes. Oh, please don't worry about the baby. I can assure you that the baby currently is fine and I will be discussing your scan in a bit detail in okay. some time. But before that, is it OK if I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, sure. All right. So uh, you said there was pain in the leg. Have, uh, can you tell me more about the de uh, in, about the pain in detail? Well, it just started uh, today morning uh, out of the blue, and uh, I thought because as it is, the baby is not moving well. Uh, I was concerned, so I came here. Yes, and that's a good thing that you did. And uh, about the pregnancy, you mentioned the baby was growing smaller. Can you tell me in yes. detail about that as well? Well, uh, yeah, at around 32 weeks, uh, I was told that um, the baby might not be growing as well as it should be. And then I was put on regular monitoring with scans. And so far, uh, they've been telling me that the baby is a little smaller. Uh, so that's okay. it. And do we have a name for the baby? John. Oh, that's a lovely name. Are you having any tummy pain or leaking or bleeding? Not at all. Mm -hmm. Are you on any spe pregnancy specific medications? I was told to start on aspirin at around uh, third month and supplements, uh, nothing else. Okay, and do you experience any breathlessness or palpitations? No, just the pain and some swelling I've noticed in the leg as well. Okay, and any medical diseases? No. Any allergies? No. Any surgeries? No. Any previous personal or family history of clots? Oh, yeah. Actually, recently uh, my sister was pregnant and during that time she was told that she has a clot in her right leg. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, and how is she doing now? She's delivered uh, and she's doing quite okay, I think. Okay, and uh, has she been uh, tested for any cl clotting related issues? I'm not sure, doctor. Okay, and uh, are you aware of your weight for height ratio? Um, yeah, it's 38. Any high blood pressure or any sugars, normal sugars? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your blood group? It's a B positive. Any reservation to blood transfusion? No. Uh, don't mind me asking, do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. What about alcohol or any recreational drugs? No, I don't drink. I don't do drugs. All right. In the past few weeks, have you felt low or depressed? Not particularly. And are you well supported at home? Yes. All right, Sarah, is there somebody here with you uh, as I'll be giving you a lot of information? No, doctor, it's fine. You can tell me. Yes. Uh, so I have confirmed that this is your report with your name and NHS number. And what I can see, as you mentioned, the baby is smaller than usual. However, the heart rate of the baby is good and the blood flow to the baby has been good as of now. All right. I can also see that you have been scheduled for an induction of labor tomorrow. Has this been discussed with you? Yes, they had told me since the baby was small. All right, uh, that's right. But uh, I may have to tell you that we would probably need to expedite the delivery after discussing with the consultant, of course, as you mentioned that the baby has not been moving well. All right, this is for the safety of the baby. Okay. Of course, we need to do a certain test called the CTG that would further guide us regarding the further course of management. In case that is normal, we could go ahead with the induction of labor. But in case the CTG is not normal, then the baby may not be able to withstand the stress of labor, which is why we may have to offer you a cesarean section. Is that OK with you? 
Yes. Okay. All right. So as far as the pain in the leg is concerned, uh, has the report been discussed with you? Not really. All right. So the report shows that, uh, uh, as you mentioned, your sister had it. It's a similar thing. But there's a clot in the large oh. blood vessel in the pelvis. And I'm sorry to be saying this, that uh, in case the clot gets dislodged and goes from the through one of the vessels in the heart into the lung, the lung vessel can get blocked. And this is a life threatening condition that can that is called as venous thromboembolism that can result in chest pain, breathlessness and even death. I'm really sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but there is treatment available, which we intend to start you on immediately. Is that all right with you? Oh, yes, please. Yes. All right. So you're on. You, you would be uh, you would be looked after by a team of specialist doctors, and you would need special blood thinners in order to prevent the clot from getting dislodged. However, I must tell you that as we are planning your delivery soon, there is a risk that you may bleed heavily because of the blood thinners at the time of delivery, and as such, we need to balance the risk of bleeding versus the risk of the clot getting dislodged. For this, we may have to consider certain special injections that we refer to as unfractionated heparin, which have shorter duration of action and the effect wanes off earlier. And uh, even if there is heavy bleeding, then there is an antidote that is available, which is called as protamine sulfate, which we could offer you as well. We may need to monitor your platelet count and the degree of clotting while you are on these injections. There is another option uh, which we would need to discuss with the specialist. It is called as an IVC filter, which filters out any dislodged clots that uh, and keep them from reaching the lung. Uh, however, there may be certain uh, risks with this, like the migration through the one of through the veins and increased risk of clotting in the lower veins, infection in the long term safety may be uncertain. You would also be offered stockings for the leg to improve circulation. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you mentioned, your weight for height ratio is 38. That increases further the risk of clotting. And in labor, we may need special monitoring for you, like the baby's heart rate would have to be monitored continuously. We may have to offer you IV lines earlier and also certain injections uh, which in order to have the womb contracted to pre pre prevent bleeding after delivery. All right? Yeah. Okay. After delivery, you would be uh, offered the blood thinners continuously for around three months. And in the future pregnancy, in case you plan, we would offer you blood thinners throughout the pregnancy in the future. Your baby would be evaluated by the baby doctor. And since the baby is small, there may be a risk of low sugars, temp low temperature, jaundice, or may require breathing support as well. You would be offered the necessary support and breastfeeding would be encouraged. And we would offer you safer contraceptive methods for the future which wouldn't contain hormones. You may have to be changed to oral medicines and you may require more uh, aggressive monitoring during that period. We advise you to stay hydrated and as mobile as is possible. Also later, once the treatment is over, we would offer you certain special tests in order to check your clotting as it may be genetic since your sister also had this. All right. Mm, okay. I also need to inform you about something that we refer to as post thrombotic syndrome, which can result in bluing in the leg or certain skin changes. And you may need to uh, this re uh, risk is reduced with regular blood thinners as well. I would be giving you certain written information and we'll discuss with the consultant and arrange for the CTG soon. Any questions you have? Not at this point, doctor. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.